Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I know you haven't seen me in a while. A lot has happened. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you already know all about it. But if not, don't worry. I'm coming at you with a little get ready with me life update video very, very soon. But I miss you, YouTube, and I'm glad to be back. Today's video is going to be something that is not really in my ballpark, but I get so many requests for it. And that is outfits for the office, outfits to go into work. And let me tell you, I haven't had to plan an outfit for the office since 2017. So I'm not necessarily gonna say this was a struggle, but it was a thinker for me as somebody that usually works in either my pajamas or robe or whatever random outfit I tried on for TikTok that day. So I've got five different outfit ideas for you for the office, basically a full work week's worth of looks. And all of them are from Amazon because let's be real, the majority of us don't even wanna be in the office. So the idea of having to spend a lot of money on the clothes we wear to the office, probably not. And I know for us curvy girls, finding good flattering quality pieces, especially on Amazon, can be a hit or a miss so of course I was your guinea pig and I found some great pieces I'm really really proud of the things that I found between shoes pants like actually flattering dress pants blazers tops I've got so many different options and even though I put these all into like actual outfits a lot of these pieces are really great wardrobe staples especially for the office that you can mix and match with each other okay I'm already talking too much but everything I'm trying on in this video will be linked down below with the sizes I'm wearing as well as a list of my current measurements so that you guys have an accurate sizing reference when you're shopping. But yeah, I'm really excited to be back. So let's just jump right into this video. Okay, you guys, this is look number one. I feel like you can never go wrong with a matching skirt sweater set. And this one comes in a bunch of different colors. I thought it would be cute to do like a little pop with this emerald green color. Or this is more like a Kelly green. But I will say, you guys, not only is this really, really flattering, I tucked it in in the front just to give myself a little bit more shape, but that is completely optional. And then I just paired it with a knee-high boot with very modest, comfortable heel. I feel like this is a great way to wear a skirt in colder months because you're pretty much covered. The only thing showing is this little bit of thigh. Not only can you pull the skirt down to show less of it, you can also put stockings under if it's gonna make you feel more comfortable. But overall, this is just an easy one, two, three. I've got a set, I put it on, and I look great without trying really hard at all. I'm pretty sure I got this in a size XL, maybe a double XL, but it is definitely very forgiving, nice and stretchy. It's not hugging you too much to make you feel uncomfortable in the office. This is a super duper comfy outfit. I'm so impressed with this set that I feel like you guys should get a set in like black or beige and then also get whatever your favorite color is. And now you've got two outfits for the office that you can just pull out of the closet and they're easy. And you guys, I kid you not, the quality on this is incredible. Like they're so soft, not itchy at all, and they feel really, really nice. So we're off to a great start with office outfit number one. Okay, you guys, outfit number two is like a classic go into the office look. I'm more excited about the fact that I found all of these amazing pieces on Amazon rather than the outfit. Oh, it's pretty basic, but I do like it. It's nothing revolutionary. I just have on this black bodysuit that I gotta say. This is probably an exact dupe for Skims. It's everybody long sleeve. It's long sleeve, by the way. They also make it in like a racer back tank. Honestly, you guys need these bodysuits. And it's not nearly as see through as the Skims ones can be. Or they're just an incredible staple for your closet. And then this blazer, just a nice kind of oversized black blazer without being too oversized that it like swallows you up. Especially if you work in an office, I feel like everybody needs a good black blazer. And this is definitely one of them. And then these wide leg pants. Pants. I actually have this pair of pants in black as well, and they're just great. First of all, I feel like on Amazon, it's very difficult to find like dress pants that are gonna fit a curvy body, and I love this pair. I also love the color, like the all black with the contrasting cream pants. Will I stain them? Probably. They fit great. They're the perfect length. They also make them in a short length, but I bought those and they're too short for me, so I know the regular length is better. I'm 5'2", so if you're any shorter than me, I would go for the short length, but this is the perfect length for me, and then I paired it with this nice little black leather belt it just has a gold buckle to complement the gold jewelry that I'm wearing I also kept the jewelry really simple and I'm not going to be changing it for any of the looks because I feel like who is really accessorizing that much at the office I just have this necklace that I got on Amazon my engagement ring and then these studs that I also got on Amazon you know what now that I'm seeing the look on I was thinking loafers before I think a slip-on mule would be a little bit better but I'm too short to do that with this length of pant. So I just went with classic leather black little booty, super comfortable. I feel like most of us have this in our closets already. So really nice and versatile, but yeah, just a classic little office look with the blazer and you know, the dress pants looks professional, but I still feel very comfortable, honestly. I will say though, if you're gonna wear this bodysuit, don't even bother putting any underwear under. If you're gonna put on underwear, put it over just so the bathroom is a little bit easier. I love this look, I'm sweating though, so let me change. 
Okay, another classic, super simple outfit for the office. I found this little satin button-up shirt in this really pretty like off-white cream color. And I paired it with these really nice like tapered leg uh, trousers in this brown color. This fabric is really nice. It's got the tiniest bit of stretch that makes it really nice and comfortable. Good size pockets, fitting me right at my waist. It's a great length. Now that I see it with the shoes, I feel like it would be cute if you like cuffed it maybe once or twice at the bottom. And then I paired it also with these like slip on mules in the same like cream color as the shirt. And it has like a little gold hardware on it. I feel like these are perfect shoes for the office. Get these in this color and in black and you're pretty much set. Especially for like slip on shoes like this, they are super comfy. I've got room. So I think maybe if you've got like a narrow foot, maybe size down, but they're fitting me perfectly. I love the way this outfit fits. The pants fit great and they're really comfortable still. I got this shirt in a double X because I do have chunky arms. And I'm thinking the XL might have worked, but it might have actually been a little bit snug on the arms. So I feel like I'm in between sizes. I would love to try the XL to see if it would fit better. If you want like a more form fitting look, then I would definitely size down. But I kind of like the looser top vibe, like tucked into the pants. I think it gives it a little bit of shape while still being, you know, appropriate for the office and flattering. I will say though, you guys, between the wide leg from the last outfit and these pants, I feel like I found you guys some really great pants options for the office on Amazon because I love both of them. They both come in a bunch of different colors, very affordably priced, and they're fitting my curvy body like really, really well. So I'm excited about that. At this point, I think we're three for three, y'all. Okay, you guys, outfit number four, and I love me a little sweater vest moment. So I basically kept it nice and classic with this white button up shirt under. I got this in double XL, and I definitely like with this one, I know I could have gone down. But I kind of like how like billowy and big the sleeves are. But in terms of like tucking it into the pants, there was a lot of extra fabric to tuck. And then also like when I first put it on, I rolled the sleeve because they were really big. And then I decided I like the look of them unrolled better. But like they're really big. There's a lot of room in the arms. So for somebody with chunky arms like me, I love that. But I definitely could have gone down a size. And then I went with like a gray little cable knit cropped sweater vest. This is a double X as well, I believe. Because I wanted it to be like a little bit oversized but not too oversized, like I did on a long one. I feel like I could have done an XL with this too, but I'm liking the oversized look. It's a little androgynous, a little masculine. It's a vibe. And then I went with these black pants. They're very similar to the brown ones, fitting really, really nicely. They're not as high-waisted as the brown. They're a nice, like, thin cotton material, so these are gonna be great for, like, all seasons. If it's really, really cold, you can put a pair of tights under them to make yourself warmer, but it's a good, nice fabric that will carry you through the whole year round because it's not too heavy for summer either. And then I paired this whole outfit with this pair of like chunky loafers that I got from Steve Madden. Steve Madden is sold on Amazon as well. So I'll try to find it all in one place for you guys. I feel like this outfit would also pair really well with sneakers for like casual Fridays. You still want to look professional, but you want to wear sneakers to work. Or if you've got like the Alexander McQueen, like chunky sole looking sneakers, that might be a little bit more professional and you can get away with it at work with this outfit. But I feel like an all white sneaker would pair really well with this look. You guys know I'm like a super girly girl, so this is a different vibe for me, but I'm into it, honestly. I think it looks cute. And for the final look, I went super duper simple. I basically found this oversized sweater dress <laughs> and paired it with some knee high boots. I'll be real, like I know the dress comes slightly above the knee. I definitely wouldn't call it a mini, but I feel like paired with the knee high boot, just the tiniest bit of thigh is showing just in the front because the dress is longer in the back. If you would feel more comfortable because you're in the office putting a pair of tights under this, you could totally do that. But I personally feel like this would be completely appropriate because you've got the tiniest bit of thigh showing and once you're sitting at your desk like are you even gonna see it also because this dress is not form-fitting at all so it's not like you're giving sexy you know what i mean but you are giving cute i love this sweater if it's really cold where you live do a pair of tights under this with the knee-high boots you're gonna be warm as hell um because this turtleneck let me tell you the only reason i didn't put on the tights to show you is because i'm sweating so if you're worried about being warm this is the right dress for you it did come in a bunch of different colors I went with like the camel color and then paired it with brown boots. I think it's a perfect little color combo. This is versatile enough, but this in black would be 10 times more versatile and make your life even easier. So you could totally go that route. But sometimes when you get these sweater dresses, they can be like an itchy sweater material. This one is really nice and comfy. It's also one of those that you can wear like your one piece shapewear that's like the straps, the shorts, everything and make your life really easy. Just put on the faja with the little pee hole, put this over, you've got an outfit. This would also pair really well with like an oversized, not trench coat, but like an oversized wool coat like over it with the turtleneck peeking through. I feel like that would look fabulous and just your purse, 
really cute on the go. Literally just one piece, pair it with your favorite knee-high boots and you've got an outfit, easy one, two, three. You don't even have to think about it in the morning. Okay, you guys, that was a full work week's worth of outfits from Amazon by yours truly. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I have not had to wear office clothes to an office since 2017. So if any of this was off base, just let me know in the comments. Like how would you make it appropriate for your job? Especially like this dress, it was a little bit short. What would you do? Would you wear this? How do you feel about these looks? Because I'm not gonna lie, between working for myself for this long and a whole pandemic, I don't even know what people were into the office. So I just kind of did a little Google and a little research of my own. But if you're watching this, you probably have a lot more experience than me. <laughs> But if you're interested in buying any of these pieces, make sure you check the description box below for all of the links to everything. I've included my sizes that I'm wearing and everything, as well as a list of my current measurements so you guys have an accurate sizing reference when you're shopping. I fully intend on being more consistent on my YouTube channel this year, so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. Also, you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm Super Ashley 127 on all of my platforms. I miss you all, I love you all, and I will see you in my next video.